what's up guys, it's Austin here from Royal Highness Python and in today's video I'm going to get some ultrasound done, I'm going to show you how I ultrasound and hopefully we're going to see some eggs on the ultrasound so before we get into that cool stuff, huge shout out to Eden Morphs, thank you so much for the really cool shirt, really nice, and are they slacking on the back? Nope. So definitely go and check them out, Eden Morphs. I would appreciate it, they would appreciate it, and now let's get right into this ultrasounding video. So as you guys can see, I have the ultrasound on, we're all ready to go. So now I'm going to go ultrasound some females and basically show you how I go through the process, what I do, what I look for, and what we're seeing on the screen. But before we get into that, I just want to say a huge shout out to Billy for letting me borrow his ultrasound. Thank you so much. And he actually has something on Patreon right now where he has a really big discount going on if you want to go get yourself an ultrasound. So go check out Mutation Creation Patreon and uh, buy yourself an ultrasound. That's a great $600 discount, so definitely help you save some money, maybe get another snake or something. So without further ado, let's just get into this. And I'm just going to take out one of my vanilla clown females. And last time I ultrasounded them, their follicles were fairly small, around 10 centimeters. And basically when ultrasounding, all I do is take the snake and I take it about halfway and just wrap it around my leg like so. Then I get the probe. You're gonna need some ultrasound gel. And you also wanna make sure that you're using the front side of the probe. You always wanna see this little numbers. On other ultrasound probes, it might be different. There's always a top and a bottom. And if you're doing it this way, it's gonna read upside down. So you just always wanna make sure you have the top up. And then I'm just gonna go put a very healthy amount of gel on there and you can already see the screen has changed it's all these waves and let's just go and check really quickly what we have here and you want to go about halfway down your female and just start there and you want to look for a large black mass and right there it is that is the gallbladder so after the gallbladder usually we're gonna get the follicles directly after and let me just move because this girl just got her face in the fluid but we'll go a little bit further down and you can see right there we have some follicles and there's one big one right there and I'm actually going to come here and try to hit freeze or Elias can you hit that for me we're going to measure this follicle so there's one follicle a fairly large one too and we're just going to measure it really quickly to show you what we're seeing so right there's the whole follicle and if I just go to measure really quickly and we can start at the outside of the follicle and we go all the way to the outside of the follicle. It's about 12 and a half centimeter, uh, millimeters. So just over a centimeter. And like I said last time I've uh, ultrasounded her, she was around 10 centimeters. So she's slowly growing. And I haven't ultrasounded for about a couple of weeks. So I'd say Dece late December, December 20th, around Christmas time. So eight weeks, I'd say. And uh, she's on set, set to growing. She's not growing as fast as I would like her to grow. But that was just one follicle, so we're just going to look to see if she has any bigger ones inside of her really quickly. And there's that one, there's some nice big one right there. Looks like the same one as before. But we have all these other tiny ones. Let me just move this along. But it doesn't look like we have too many other ones. We have maybe like one, two, three, four, five, and then a bunch of little smaller ones. So she is growing, not as growing as much as I would like her to. So I'm definitely going to keep pounding her with food and uh, give her a couple more locks with the male. That's essentially how I ultrasound. So let me zoom through a couple of females and we'll stop when we see something cool. So as you guys can see right here, we have a larger follicle and sometimes they look a little bigger on the screen than they actually are. So we're just going to measure this one once again. Can you hit freeze for me? And it's a little bigger than the last one we checked. And this one is on my pastel pie girl and she's currently being bred by the special double het monsoon pied. 
He's in there. They were locked earlier. Just curious to see how far along she is. So let's set it right there. All the way across. So it looks like we're around 15.9, 16 uh, millimeters, which is bigger than the last one. This is the perfect time to introduce a male around 15 millimeters. So the male's in there. Hopefully they have an hour lock before I take them out in two to three days. And then I'll put them back in in about four to five weeks. So right here I have my Enchi Het Glam Girl and she's looking extra bright and glowing. And last time I checked her, she was around 12 to 15 millimeter follicles. So let's just check what she has now. And she has some big ones right off the bat, right over there. Really nice big ones there. Those all look around 15 millimeters, maybe a little bigger. So we got one, two, three, four, that's five, six, about six or seven that are really big around 1.5, possibly a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna introduce the male once again with her and hopefully we can get a clutch from her in the next few months. So right here we have an Ultramel, and this just happens to be Lord of Lions Ultramel, and she obviously has eggs in her. She ovulated not too long ago, and she's about maybe 20 days, 30 days from laying. She just had her pre-lay shed. So let's just take a really quick look at how the eggs are looking. I know they don't come up too well on this ultrasound. You can barely just see the outlines, but that's enough just to tell that she has eggs and possibly even count how many she has. So let's just take a quick look. And right off the bat, I'm seeing one right here. So right there it starts. If you could point to that, Elias, do you see where it starts? Actually, there might be even another one at the beginning. There is another one. So there's the first egg right here. It starts right where his finger is. It continues all the way along and stops right about there. And you can see it near the bottom more, we have the other egg starting going on to the second egg and it ends right around the middle of the screen right now and let's just move a little bit further down see what else we have so there's the end of that second egg moving into the third egg and it's just a little bit lower placed a little bit hard to see but there's the third egg and then it goes to the fourth egg very hard to see. I don't know how well the camera can pick it up. Looks like we're coming into the fifth now. And there's the fifth. Now it's getting very hard to see. Need a little more fluid over here. It's the fifth. Moving into what looks like a sixth egg. And is there anything behind it? And yep, looks like we have seven eggs. And that looks like to be the last one. So seven eggs it looks like we have in this girl, which is super cool, because she was paired to a, pa a banana super pastel Mojave spot nose clowns with some really cool double heads. Everything will be pastel. Everything that doesn't have banana will be a male or oh, a female. Everything that has banana will be a male. If you watched my last video, you'll understand that. And if you haven't already, go and watch that. So really stoked about this clutch. And one thing I want to say about ultrasounding in general, uh, not particularly about this female, but if you do have a female in shed and you do try to go an ultrasounder, it's going to be a lot harder to tell. And right now, actually, I'm going to go pull out another one of Elias's females who just happens to be gravid at this moment. And it's his big pie girl right here. And she's actually just going into her shed. So I'm going to show you one that's not even fully in shed yet and how much harder it is to actually see. So. If I could just put her up right here, right now, you can see her belly's already turning red. You can see that huge swell from where the eggs are. Just gently place her down here. Get a little bit of fluid on her. And then we're going to go, just take a quick look. And actually, it's not that bad with the eggs. But, actually, I think this is even easier to see than the Ultra Mouse. We got one. So there's the first egg. It's a little hard to see actually. You see all these black lines you're seeing there? That's the shed, because when you have your snake in shed, you're basically getting the skin lifted up. So there is some air getting stuck between uh, the skin and the actual scales. So it, that's what you're seeing all those black lines from. Go three, it looks like so far. 
coming on to the fourth. It looks like a fifth, sixth, seven. Not sure if I see any more. Eight. Looks like we have at least eight in this girl. It's kind of hard to see, but still get the really nice outline of the eggs. I wouldn't be surprised if she were to lay more. Looks like maybe down here she has some double stacked, which would be super cool. So I'm just going to gently place her back in here and let her get her shedding. And that's pretty much going to be it for the video. If I were to go to a female that was all the way in shed, really dark, you know what? Let's just do it. This is another one of Lord Lion's females who is gravid. He has a lot of gravid females here. Yeah, that guy. And basically, um, another pied. And uh, she is a lot more in shed than the last one, as you can tell. She's also doing some upside down stuff. She's an acrobat. Basically, you can see really dark blue eyes, really opaque skin. She kind of has a little bit of a wobble, man. Sure, it's not a spider. <laughs> and basically, um, so first I'm going to go check really quickly. We can barely see anything. So there's actually eggs here. They're just super hard to see. Kind of can see them, but you see how much more dark lines there are, how much more cloudy it is. There is tons of ultrasound gel or fluid on the snake right now. It shouldn't really be an issue. It's just mostly all of the shed. Once again, you get that lifting of the skin. So that's what's making it hard to see. But this girl is gravid, so she definitely has eggs in her. It'd be nice to see how many she has in her. But we can definitely wait a couple days till she sheds. So once again, keep in mind that if they are shedding, you might want to wait a couple days to ultrasound your females. Or if you're bringing someone to your place to go and ultrasound your females, make sure that most of them are not in shed, or at least the ones that you want to check are not in shed, or else you might be wasting somebody's time and possibly your money. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.